have you found the solution of our daily puzzle? The question was, first of all, whether bishop takes f2 is a big threat, and if it isn't, how shall white play? How shall she continue her attack? With white, Regina Pokorna took on d5, sacrificing an exchange, and that is the strongest move in the position because the black king is still in the center. We want to attack it. We don't want to give time for black to finish development. After e takes d5, we jump to d6. It cannot be captured with the bishop because the queen would be hanging, and it doesn't matter where the king goes. Let's say king e7, as it happened in the game. We simply capture the pawn on d5, and now we have several threats. Queen f7 check, bishop g5 check, and this king is very exposed. What happened in the game was bishop e6, and after bishop g5 check, king d7, we simply need to keep the queen on the d file. It's atta under attack, so we just move it to d3, and we are threatening to win the queen by jumping to c4 with the knight. If the king goes to c7, this could have been the game. Uh, then it seems like our attack is over, but our pieces are so, so active that it doesn't matter that we don't have anything concrete at the moment. White can simply play bishop f4. The idea is that we protect this d6 uh, knight just in case. We want to jump to g5 with the knight, attack the bishop, and open the diagonal for this bishop. If this pawn is captured, as I said, it's no big deal. We will just simply move the king to h1. And in this position, you see that we have an exchange and the pawn down, but it doesn't matter because all our pieces are very active. And this rook is about to join the attack too by playing rook b1. So we are threatening rook b1 taking on b7 or knight g5 and pushing e6. So if this is protected, let's say avoiding rook b1, then we play knight g5, the bishop moves, and after e6, this position is hopeless. Thank you for watching this game, the analysis, and enjoy the rest of the show.